Hello there. Welcome back to Dr. K. Prem Primer Lecture Series. Today we will uh, discuss about uh, methyl ages. Methyl ages. So as you all aware that methyl ages are, especially DNA methyl ages are part of restriction modification system in prokaryotes. Right, so these DNA methylases involved in the transfer of methyl group from donor to DNA. In other way, they catalyze the they catalyzes the transfer of methyl group from donor to DNA. What they do? They are involved in the methylation of substrates. Methylation means addition of methyl group that is CH3. Right? As I told you that they are part of restriction modification system. They are part of restriction modification system in prokaryotes. So you know that restriction is mediated by the restriction endonucleases where they cut the foreign DNA whenever they enter into the cell. Whereas modification means modification of its own genome by methylation to protect its genome from the restriction endonucleases. So rest, they are part of restriction modification system. So if you look into the uh, restriction modification system, type 2 methylases are encoded by a separate proteins. Type 2, there are three types of restriction modification, type 1, type 2, type 3. In type 2 restriction modification, restriction is mediated by these separate proteins, separate polypeptide, and methylation is also sub, uh, mediated by the separate enzyme. When it comes to the when it comes to the type 1 and type 3, the same protein complex, which is having different subunits mediate the restriction as well as the modification right here methylation is is happens only in the presence of sam what is sam s adenosyl methionine acts as a donor for methyl group so the methylases uses the Adenosyl methionine as a donor to donate the methyl group to do, to uh, methylate the substrates. So SAM is a methyl group donor. Yeah. So there are two types of methylases you can see. One is DAM, DAM methylases, and second one is DCM methylases. DAM methylases and DCM methylases. So A stands for these methylases specifically methylates the only adenine. DAM means A stands for H indicates that these methylases mediate the methylation only adenine. adenine. Whereas DCM methylases methylates the only cytosine. Only cytosine. So let us look into the more detail. So D dam methylases methylates the amino group at C6 position of adenine. So I'm trying to tell you that dam methylase mediates methylates the amino group at C6 position. C6 position and and the frequency is 256 base, base page and the, they are uh, site specific also dam methylases are site specific means they do methylate at a GATC in that A is that is adenine is methylated right these methylases present in all restriction modification system. 
okay next the second category is dcm methylases dcm here you see c means cytosyl so methylation of amino group at c4 c4 position of cytosines so it methylates at amino group at c4 position of cytosine okay so they are also site specific cca ggg cc tgg and this the frequency of this methylation sites are every 512 base pairs and dcm methylases are components of type 2 restriction modification system so the dcms are present is only restricted to the a uh, type 2 modification system right and uh, and you see methylation in the dna only occurs at two two, two nitrogen bases one is adenine and the second one, second one is cytosine not the thymine and guanine okay now we will see the reaction so i told you that dam methylases methylates at n6 or c6 position means where where there is a amino group you see this is a adenine 1 2 3 4 5 6 c6 there is a amino group there is a amino group so dam methylases dam is a methylases methylates the amino group at c6 position c6 position so then you see this is what is a methylation amino group at c6 position of adenine So adenine, and this is the methylated adenine. Whereas DCM methylases methylates at amino group, amino group at a C4 position. Where is the amino group here? C4 position. So you see the C4 amino group is methylated. This is a methylated cytosine right so dam methylases methylates at amino group at c6 position and dcm methylases methylates the amino group at c4 position right and uh, next we will see the same thing in uh, other uh, graph other figure so you, you here i am trying to explain the uh, function of dam methylases and their uh, subsequent uh, uh, actions and you see this is a dna the duplex dna where it is having dtc as a site and dam methylase recognize the site irrespective of the status of uh, methylation the methylase recognize the methylation site so once it is uh, identifies the its site then what will happen the sam that is a s adenosyl methionine you see this is a methionine group and it is attached to the adenosine and it is a s adenosyl methionine this donates the ch3 group ch3 group this ch3 is here this ch3 is donated by the sam and methylase is transfers the that ch3 group to adenine since it is a dam means adenine specific methylase it uh, methylates at the adenine right at what position c6 amino amino group at c6 position then once it is methylated both the strands are methylated if this dna is exposed to the restriction endonuclease 
then for example mbo and mbo one enzyme whose site is gatc so when it is methylated uh, this and restriction endonuclease can recognize the site but it cannot process or it cannot break down the site because that site is methylated right so whenever a site is whenever a site is methylated then it is modified it is it cannot be digested by the restriction endonuclease hence the the dna is protected from the restriction endonuclease so you see no restriction and it is protected no restriction and it is protected so dna undergoes the methylation then that particular site which is completely methylated or hemi methylated also then uh, the dna is protected from the restriction and the nucleus digestion right and the next what is the biological function of uh, uh, this uh, methylation we will see in the next slide You see, the biological function of the methylation is to protect the host DNA from its own restriction endonucleases. So once its genomic DNA is uh, methylated and it is not accessible or it is not digested by the restriction endonuclease, right? So this is all about the methylases. If at all you like it, just subscribe my channel. That's Dr. K Prem Primer. and also subscribe for uh, many more videos in the future thank you all for listening and uh, do comment if you want if you want some more explanation on this same topic thank you see you again with the one more video until then bye bye